Hello, it's Julie with Steamcat, and we have a little bit of a different work service today, but it's still Fascinator Friday. Yay, Kermit Flail! Today I'm going to show you a work in progress. This is some fake leather that I'm making with EVA foam, and I've blocked it on my handy-dandy wooden ball block. Really, it's a thrift store bowl, so it it was very cheap. It was a buck or something, and I've blocked so many fascinators on this. Okay, this part is 2 millimeter EVA foam. You can see it a little unadulterated here that I bought from Michaels, and I used my heat gun to conform it to the bottom of the bowl, and then once it was dry, I heated it up again, and I used some foil to press down and make a nice texture. Reheat, lather, rinse, repeat. You know, it took a long time, but once I was happy with the texture, I let it dry, and I took it outdoors for a couple of coats of paint. The first coat was a standard uh, Krylon primer, the, the gray stuff. You can sort of see a little bit of it along the edge here. Nothing special about it, um, but use one that's plastic safe if you do this. The next thing to do was uh, cover it with a couple of coats of this. It's a mocha brown, or espresso brown, excuse me, paint from Krylon. Once I'd done a couple of coats of that, it was time for the distressing look. And I used some acrylic paints. Uh, I bought these at Michael's. They're inexpensive. I diluted them with a little bit of water just to make it easier to work with. I have a pure black and a real brown. So I worked some in with, with a cosmetic, piece of cosmetic foam. I'd work it in really good and then wipe the the excess off with a paper towel. I do one layer, do another layer, and I did two or three layers this way, just alternating colors a little bit. And my final layer was kind of a mixture of the two colors. I was just trying to get it a little more even, and I think I got that. So my next step is to cut this down and actually finish the fascinator. So, Fascinator Friday has turned into Failure Friday. <laughs> uh, you can see how horrible this looks, I think, but I'm going to walk you through what I did to get to this point and how I found out that it utterly failed. But it's a learning experience, right? Yeah. Okay, the first thing I did was use this pattern that I have for making, for cutting a fascinator down that I use on this block. That worked out okay. I put some wire in. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but this is really a cool way of joining wire. It, it's heat shrink tubing. Awesome. So I decided, because the edge, of course, came out white again, I could either paint the edge or add a little bit of interest. I was going to put this gray double-sided bias tape on it. You see all the glue on my hands, uh, which I it looked cute, and I thought, mm, maybe I can make a little sort of biasy thing out of the fake leather. Well, I got to messing with it, and look at that. <laughs> that. Can you see it? It's crinkled and cracked, and all the white is showing through. So this means I've used the wrong primer, probably. I'll have to go back and look into that. But the other idea I had was I was going to put a feather across on here. And I glued in, glued on a little thing for it to go on through. And when I did that, I totally screwed up right there. I tried to repair it, and it looks terrible. So I have learned several things today. First of all, the leather looks really great. I don't know if you can tell underneath the light, but I was really pleased with how it came out. It, it aged pretty well. It looks 
almost like it's real leather, so that's obviously cool. But, dang it. <laughs> it just didn't... For all the things that I mentioned, it just did not work out. So, I will be going back to the drawing board. But I wanted to show you what I did and where it failed. And, again, pardon all the paint and junk on my hands. Uh, they're a mess. So, but it shows you I've been working, right? So, hey, like, subscribe, tell your friends, let them come see all my failures today because, hey, I learned something, right? So, y'all have a good weekend, a good week, and we'll see you next time.